In a traditional school, the commercial kitchen can use up to 25% of the building's energy. So when we designed Richardsville, we knew that the commercial kitchen was going to be a prime target for looking for ways to significantly reduce its energy use. What we ended up doing was eliminating the deep fryers and the tilting skillets because those had grease-laden vapors. The grease-laden vapors are what causes you to have to have those enormous kitchen hoods that you see in every commercial kitchen. And it's actually the second thing that the staff turn on in the morning. The first is the lights, the second is the kitchen hood. So we knew if we could eliminate that hood, we would be able to save a significant amount of energy. So we traded the traditional tilting skillets and deep fryers for combi ovens and steam kettles. That did two things for us. One we were expecting, which was to reduce the energy because now we were cooking the food more efficiently and we could eliminate that hood that was going to suck all of the energy out of the, out of the building on a daily basis. The other thing it did though, was it allowed the school to make a stand to prepare healthier lunches. And that really became a strategy that went district wide and they began removing the tilting skillets and the deep fryers out of every school. So in a traditional kitchen, you would normally see deep fryers, tilting skillets, all of those things that are familiar with school construction. Well, one of the things about a traditional kitchen that's also important is that can use about 25% of a building's energy. So one of the key features of Richardsville was to eliminate the tilting skillets, the deep fryers, and that large commercial hood that we're all so familiar with that's the, one of the first things that's turned on during the day and uses a tremendous amount of energy. So we traded the tilt skillets and deep fryers for combi ovens and steam kettles. That eliminated the necessity for the hood I was talking about. So now we only have to deal with steam laden vapor and that only occurs when, when a piece of equipment needs to evacuate steam only. So it only comes on automatically and then immediately goes back off. So the energy savings are, are very apparent. One of the other features though, is when you cook without grease, you're cooking healthier meals and using reduced energy to do it with. So this was a, a byproduct of the design, which was simply to reduce energy. But now we have healthier meals here and that really became a district phenomenon. In other schools around the district, they started removing the tilting skillets and the deep fryers from those facilities. And so now they have a district-wide initiative for healthy foods for students.